Aww, Aww, geek, geek out. out. Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about X Men Grand Design. Woo wee! Yeah, yeah. By Ed yeah, Piscor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ed's book comes out on uh, Wednesday, December 20th, out in comic book stores everywhere in Comixology. That's right. Ask, ask me what you, ask ask me what what I thought of it. Jake, what did you think of the book? Oh well, since you asked, um, it's a goddamn masterpiece. It really is. I mean, a triumph. It's a fucking masterpiece, man. Like it, the you know, Barry Windsor Smith's the hell out of it. The art is f- gorgeous, out of its mind. Um, the the creativity and the layouts, the you know, the the characters we see spread through all throughout it. I mean, you know, it's the beginning of this like amazing journey we're going to go on and like i said full disclosure we talked about in the interview i'm not the world's biggest x-men fan and i don't mean that as like i hate the x-men but like i just don't read the x-men in comic book form and uh i've done it in the past you know here and there you know i've read you know like wolverine solo books of course but um and of course people are probably like oh, of course you read wolverine books <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean x-men but you read wolverine dick um same fucking thing yeah but uh i mean like for like fucking for real though like we talk about Barry Windsor Smith and like Weapon X this this is like that level shit man like it, it's it is phenomenal like it is it is so freaking good and it is such a great it's gonna sound weird jumping on point but like it, it really is like jumping on point for anyone who wants to be curious about the X-Men in a great wonderful crash course into the X-Men yeah their history yeah it's very uh I mean cause this you know if you don't know the premise of Grand Design Basically, Ed's doing these like forty-page, like encapsulations of the history of the first three decades of the X-Men um, in a series of kind of like three two-issue miniseries. And Grand Design's the first one. And this first issue, of course, covers their origins really as far back as the origin of origins of mutants in the entire Marvel yes. universe through you know the the debut of the X-Men in the sixties. I love those suits. Oh, the, cla- the I first love class those suits. suits. Yeah, yeah, they're so cool. Yeah. Um d- I mean, that's always kind of a period of X-Men history for me that's like it's very important, mm-hmm. but for me X-Men, I mean, and he he seeds the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. Like he seeds it for like the classic period. Sure. There's I mean that that's that's yeah. Cuz the classic period for me is like Claremont. Yeah. Like John Burn. Byrne, yeah, absolutely. Um and there's d- I mean, having said that, you know, I, I and we mentioned as much in in our interview with with Ed X Men are always kind of one of those comic book titles that are kind of harder to get into because you feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it's like a massive soap opera. Yeah, it really know? is, decades long at this point. But then you know, if, if you really stop and think about it, you could say that about any long yeah. living character. Now, maybe it's easier when it comes to like this is a Batman book, yeah. or Spider Man because it's a single character, the, the big supporting cast. This one, it's like what? Who's on the team? You know, who's dead? Um... But I, I thought, you know, I had no problem. Like I said, I have a very basic knowledge of the X Men. You know, I play the games, enjoy the, 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 uh, the cartoon back in the day, and the, um, the movies for the most part. But I think the, the time, detail, and care spent with this um, OG X Men mm-hmm. is going to make the classic stuff so much sweeter when we get there. We see where it all goes. It's just, and and like I said, I you know I, I know I've said it a million times, but like the layouts in this, like and I and the art. Yeah, this is this is why you give like uh, an indie writer artist uh, the the big the big toys to play with because you get stuff that you would never see in um, a more I don't know how how to put it like a more kind of by committee book I guess is the best way to put it and I don't mean that as like a as a dig but like you know he's allowed and he's doing stuff that's just so fucking creative and cool and. Um, it's just a real, real freaking joy. And like I said, I, I'm not, uh, you know, it's not, you know, um, you know, anything X Men. I'm gonna go crazy for. Like this is just a great freaking book that's making me look at some of the X Men stuff like I, like I hadn't before. You know, because mm-hmm. I, I, I certainly don't know, you know, a lot of the stuff uh, going on in terms of, you know, original characters or names or origins for certain people. But it was very easy to follow. And there's nods to all different kinds of stuff in there. I wish I could tell you because like it's it'd be fun to talk about, but it's so much better that you figure it out and read it yourself. The joy is in the discovery. Yes, and this really is a love letter to to the X Men. Yeah, I mean absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah. 
So, you know, again, out in comic book stores everywhere on Wednesday, December 20th. And then issue two, two weeks after Fuck that. Fuck yeah, man. Get that double Fuck ship yeah. X-Men. It's, we, we get our fix. Hell yeah. And, you know, whether you're a long-running X-Men fan or an X-Men neophyte like, like Mr. Bozik. Yes. This is this is a great. <laughs> Did, I I just read the whole book in my head though as like '90s Wolverine. Oh, you know, like the um, yeah, I'm bro. the best there is at what I do. Like that, like whole high this pitch. One's for you, Morph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tornado Claw. <laughs> He did Fuck the, you, Scott Summers. He did the voice on uh, on Marvel vs. Capcom. Too. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Berserker Barrage. Yeah, yeah it was kind of. I, Stephen Bloom is my voice of Wolverine. Yeah, he did it on the Ultimate Alliance games, and he did it on oh, Marvel yeah. uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three. Yeah, his voice is great too. Yeah, he's got a good one for it. Anyway, again, <laughs> read it in your favorite X Men character's voice. <laughs> yeah, James Marsden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Alan yeah. Cummings' German accent yes. from, from X-Men 2. Yes. Uh, Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Park. Yeah. yeah. We love Ray Park. Don't you people ever die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Read it as um, Halle Berry's Storm in the first movie, the second movie, or the third movie. <laughs> yeah. Because ki- oh, the first two are definitely the most different. Yeah. Where she's got the, kind of got the accent. She's got the accent in the first one, and the second one, she's like, no, I'm not. Yeah. No. Not fucking with this. No. Not fucking with this. Yeah. But anyway. Fuck with this. Yeah, fuck with this. Out December 20th. This has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. (laughs) This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.